What's up, guys? So, this is the latest launch tutorial. I'm going to show you guys all of the variations of the launch. There are many like it, but this is the most up-to-date setup and most reliable for me. Uh, worth mentioning, we're, we're on Zepho 1 here, and normally you would, like, go a different way, like the normal way, and even in the fan... Uh, the way you would go to fans, which I have a tutorial of that entire Zepho split, you would go to the left. But we're going to go to the right to show you guys where this particular ledge is that we used to launch. So we're going to come here, and this is our ledge. Now, so you can do this on console. I can do it on my PS5. As long as you're getting like 60 FPS or a little bit higher the setups are all different for every kind of launch so this is 45. so we're in our corner here and the setup for the 45 fps launch is different as i said you're going to want to make sure you have photo mode enabled now i forgot to mention this but it's very important for all launches that you are always holding forward during the launch or the launch will not work. And for this one, you're just going to roll into the corner and jump, but you very specific, like you need to be in a specific spot. And you're going to end up here on this cliff. Okay. This is about a minute slower. Now, ideally, what you'd want to do is, uh, there's a loading trigger right here, and you'd ideally want to go open this door. Make it easier on the way out. And then, as you can see now, everything is loaded, and you would proceed on as normally. And what this does is get pants. So here we are back in our corner, and we're going to set our FPS to 60. And for this one, what I like to do is use a different setup. I dash into this uh, wall from the right side, do a block into a dodge cancel, and then I immediately roll, and positioning there was incorrect. Now, a few things can happen. If you're too far left, you go up in the air. You don't want that. You want a photo mode like right about there. And then we're gonna end up in the ice slide and just jump down into here. And we're gonna photo mode again to load that area because there's a loading trigger there. Now there are many outcomes that can occur. You can hit the loading trigger and fly over that wall because you bounce off of a visible wall there that bounces you onto the slide. Now you can hit the loading trigger and then fly over it and that will kill you and you will respawn all the way back at the beginning which is the worst possible scenario. You can completely miss the loading trigger and void out for a very long time but you will respawn back into the ledge right next to it which is okay but you lose like 30 seconds or more and now I will show you the 90 launch. We're going to switch to 90 FPS here, and this setup is a bit different. I'm going to start further back, and you can do this in a couple different ways, but it relies on your camera angle. You can dash along this wall into the corner, and the jump is a bit later than the 60 jump. 45 and 60 jump are very early, but not early enough to where you do a dash flip. Later than that, we go for the 90 launch here. And you want to angle your camera so it's like straight on into the corner for this launch. And for this launch, you're going to end up about halfway down the side. Or you're going to end up flying across the map like really far. Should be good. Yeah, perfect. And you're going on photo mode. And the loading trigger for this is like you're barely skimming this loading trigger, okay? So you're going to have to photo mode. Or I should mention it works with pause as well. I'm going to have to photo mode like repeatedly here until I hit the exact moment that I hit the trigger. Okay, I got it. And you are going to get inside this wall here. And then you got to climb the ice slide using block and jumping. And it's kind of crappy. 
And same principle applies once you get up to the top. Put them on again, let this load in. And from here, we do our wind pulling dash up onto this, where we head to the windswept ruins and we go to the temple elevator. So I will do, try and do another setup for the 90 launch. 60 launch is faster and I find it more reliable. Like it's just fast. Like you land at the top of the ice slide, it's easy. You don't have to climb the entire ice slide. Let me try and get the 90 launch from a center angle, but distance is important. So I'm looking for about this dark colored snow, I guess, for proper distance. And we got it. Again, photo mode, very precise. There we go. And I'm not showing you worst case scenarios here where I'm showing you the proper setups for the launches. Basically, if you fly across the map and completely miss the loading trigger, you fucked up. <laughs> Trying to show you another thing that can happen with the 90 launch, which is the same similar concept that happens with the 45 launch. You end up in a position where you are going to skip the fans, but you are not going to save three minutes that the 60 or proper 90 launch onto the ice slide. You have to jump like super late for this. Try to roll. Okay, sometimes that will happen. I honestly forgot how to do this. Um, this version. It kind of just happens by accident sometimes. Stand here and look down, jump super late. And well, okay, that's an uh, interesting and new one. But yeah, we're we're on the uh, 45 hill here. I mean, there are tons of places you can end up with these launches. Again, you ideally want to end up on the ice slide. Try a... Nope, we... Got a perfect again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sometimes you can fly through that wall. Like, you can't do it now, but, like, you go and end up, like, on the other side of this, which is a soft lock, or you just fly straight through, or you just fly, like, a million miles in the air. Camera angle comes into factor quite a bit during these launches. It's mentioning that you can also like go too low on 90 launch or on, on 60 as well and just completely miss it. Um, I think I missed it here. I think I'm below the ground. Yeah, okay, so perfect. That That is a failed 90 launch, and we will die there because we loaded the area and we deloaded the area where we spawn, so the game doesn't know where to spawn us because that area is not there anymore, so it just kills you. Oh, we got it. Okay, there we go. And so if you, if you end up over here, um, uh, worth noting that um, do not fall in this hole. Okay. Down here, and now loading trigger and the ice slide loads in. As I said, there are many different approaches to this. Some people just roll into the wall and get it first try. It doesn't work for me. I uh, usually end up doing that. Should be good. Ooh, that was a really weird one in 60. Okay. <laughs> like I said, this is just absolutely ridiculous. So if you land up here and you don't touch that solid ground down there, kind of risky, you could die. Or you could respawn on the ice slide because that is the last solid ground. But you never know with this. So yeah, I think that's it for this video. I hope it helps. This is the absolute most up-to-date, most consistent way we pretty much cracked this launch. I know in the beginning it was like RNG felt like, like and nobody knew how to do it. And we are at the point where we were pretty consistent, but not at the same time. It's, it's extremely, extremely precise. That's all I have to say. So these setups work 
for me. There are other people who use different setups. Whatever works for you, you have to figure it out and stick with that. So thank you guys for watching. I, I hope this, this is helpful for this launch because this launch is an absolutely massive time save in our speed run. And it's extremely difficult to learn and it's a run killer. Basically, I'm at the point uh, where if I don't get it within the first couple tries, like I need to reset. And it's, it's 40 minutes into the run, so it's just... It's absolutely painful. So again, enjoy the video. Toss me a like. Feel free to ask questions in the comments below. And subscribe if you guys are interested in my content. Take care, everyone.